Two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past, fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. Every Koga bastard in Manjadani knows of our intentions. We have to hurry back to Subagakure. If we want to survive, Ginnisuke must die. She moves like a ninja. We must approach with caution. She may well be one of the Koga Ten on the Yasu Scroll. <laughs> Take it you are a Koga from Manjadani. Please, do not be alarmed. As you can see, we are Iga. I'm sure you're well aware that the Koga and the Iga are no longer enemies. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I'm Tenzin. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm a Koi. We actually just came from Manjidani. We were sent there by Genosuke Dono to deliver a message to your people. I must say, I have seen warmer receptions. They attacked us and we barely escaped with our lives. <laughs> well, you shouldn't take the Koga so lightly. But you see our dilemma. We can't face Genosuke after failing him like that. 
not alone. But if you came with us, I'm sure he'd be more understanding. Is Genosuke-sama all right? Young woman, your question shows a lack of faith in your leader. Even if we had evil intentions, his skill would prevent us from acting on them. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> we agree on something. So will you accompany us to Subagakari then? I'm sure Genosuke Dono would enjoy seeing a familiar face. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> Seize my Get ahead of yourself, young lady. Didn't your elders teach you confidence is the quickest way to defeat? <laughs> Not yet, Nenki. Let's keep her alive for now. She may be of use to us. Why show mercy? She's a Koga! We can use her as bait when we kill Genosuke. Perhaps the compassion he shows her may serve as his undoing. Day behind Kazumachi. The Koga are bound to have the scroll by now. <laughs> stay alive, Hoto Ruby. Please stay alive. <laughs> Attack now! You saw how many men we lost out there. What are we waiting for? Let's slay them all! No, Gyobu. That we cannot do. What do you mean? Why the hell not? Do you not remember? Our future leader is visiting Subagakure right now. And besides, isn't that what they expect from us? To attack their village in return, surely the Iga have laid some sort of trap for us. Are we to leave Genosuke-sama and their wretched village to die? Just because you fear a trap? Genosuke-sama is not one that the Iga can slay. We must have faith in his judgment. But... <sighs> Listen, we won't attack Subagakure, but we will go to make sure he's well. But, first there is something that we must verify for ourselves. It's Sumpu, isn't it? Something unexpected must have happened. Why would they attack us if the Iga and Koga are in a time of peace? Perhaps these particular Igas were acting of their own accord. It may have been their way of rejecting the Standing Peace Agreement. Some of us would do the same if not for Hattori's pact. That's it. The No Hostilities Pact. Could the treaty have been nullified at Sumpu? What? How? Yobu, you overheard the Iga scheming. You said that their leader was intent on attacking us from the beginning. That's right. I overheard their plan. They were clearly intent on staging an attack. Let's not take unnecessary chances. 
Kazumachi was a formidable opponent alone. The Iga came from the north onto Kaido Road. They sought to intercept Kazumachi on his way back from Sunpu, planning to kill the courier bearing a secret from Danjo-sama. He engaged them in battle, but death has claimed him. They know something that we do not. But how? Subagakure is much farther from Sunpu than Manjadani. Their messenger should still be on the way there. So then, we'll beat them at their own game. Let me kill the first. Yashimaru, don't you recognize my voice? It is I, Tenzin. Where are you? Show yourself! Tenzin Sama, come out! I beg you! Do not be alarmed by my absence, Yashimaru. Impeding circumstances prohibit me. Now, why have you returned from Sunpu? It's of the utmost importance, Tenzin Sama. I see. Tell me what took place at Sunpu that hastened your return. But you must tell me something first! Why can you not be seen? I fear I know. Could you have been killed? Killed? I should have known. Who did it? It wasn't that Koga named Kazumachi, was it? Yes, it was he. An opponent too strong to defeat. I beg your forgiveness, Tensin-sama. It's my fault, all because I... I wasn't able to stop Koga Danjo. Iyasu's ninja scroll got to them first. Iyasu's ninja scroll? Hotorubi! Is she... <laughs> Had the Koga killed all our clan? Rest assured, they are all well. Yashimaru, tell me, what was on the scroll? Ten names from each clan were forged. Now, after all these years, the Iga can finally show no mercy. The time has come, Tensin-sama. With Hattori-sama present, the retired Shogun nullified the No Hostilities Pact. What? <laughs> He's found us out. <laughs> He must be one of the Koga Ten. I can make up for my failures if I bring back his head. Huh? Now feel the agony of my Kokajo!
indebted to you. You saved my life. I wanted to keep him alive so we could get more information out of him, but I had no choice. He was too dangerous. He made an amazing revelation, didn't he? Yes, it's just as Yoma thought. The No Hostilities Pact has been dissolved. But why would Lord Iyasu forge the names of ten ninjas from each clan? I don't know. You were in such a hurry. Is everything okay? Yes, just fine. Hot uh, Jasmine, who's that for? Oh, this. Didn't you hear? Tenzin and the others just got back. Really? Take a deep breath. <laughs> Utora-sama is safe and sound in Kokomon Jidani. Apparently he arrived there early this morning. That's good news. Very good. Tenzin and the others you met in the forest have returned as well. I was a little worried to tell you the truth. I, I think they're all trying hard, but I know there are some who still disapprove of the truth. Are you listening to me? Huh? Oh, I... <laughs> I must have let my thoughts wander again. Thank you for granting my favor, Oberodono. All is well on my end. The Koga girl is tied up and hidden away in the salt locker. Nobody saw me. Well done. And Genosuke? He's suspicious, all right. He had Oberosama send a scout to Manjidani to check on Udono, but we intercepted him. He told her that he saw Udono, and he's just fine. She's telling this to Genosuke as we speak. Will he believe her? Why wouldn't he? She's not lying. As far as she knows, Udono is as happy as a pig in slop. How can he suspect treachery in those crystal clear eyes when there is none? <laughs> those beautiful, adoring eyes, so full of devotion, to think that they will send her true love straight to his death. <laughs> you must admit that it's terribly amusing. And risky. How long must this go on? This war was not our doing. Wouldn't it be better to tell Oberosama the truth? I'm afraid this bodes ill. If Yashimaru hasn't returned by now, we can probably count him among the dead. Look at her. She'll be crushed if he doesn't return. I hope it doesn't affect her ability to fight. <laughs> Why? I was being serious. Listen to how happy she is. Ignorance can be merciless. When we do kill Genosuke, that will be Oberosama, known to the world, feeling only the pain of her longing heart. Should we go back to Manjadani and tell them what we've learned? Time is too precious. Hmm. I know we have scouts lurking along this road, but it will be best if we go to Subodakare alone. You and I are the only Kogos who have any chance of rescuing Genosuke-sama. Brute force isn't the answer on this mission. It's going to take cunning and guile.
Go ahead, tell me. How does it feel to be a member of the Ega? Young woman. Warriors in disguise set out to unearth the hidden deception. Accepted as one of their own, the freedom to roam is granted. Beauty bound and shackled. Silent cries for help escape into the night. Hope evanescent. An innocent maiden about to be violated transforms into a dungeon of flesh. On the next basilisk, the blood-sucking seductress.